What we do in, in gender studies is not just reduce gender to what psychologists might call individual differences, but rather thinking about gender, and that's not women and man, but gender as a, as a social form, something that kind of infuses itself into virtually all aspects of social life. Well, let's talk about that then. Uh, I guess we should start with, we've got gender and sex, right? Yeah. What, what's the difference between the two? Is there a difference? I saw that in your questions and I thought, my goodness, this is what we spend an entire semester kind of thinking through. But what we tend to think about in the social sciences today is that sex refers to a set of biological characteristics and gender is a social construct or category. What I think is often misleading about that characterization is allowed to be sort of messy and complicated. But in that framing, when you split them up into these wholly discrete constructs, study scholars, and, and really more specifically people who study gender and sex, we're not talking about sexuality right now. In the kind of academic universe that I travel in is that we see how deeply gendered ideas, um, cultural ideas about masculinity and femininity, maleness and femaleness, both in humans and in lots of other animals. So are gender and sex two different things, or? Well, I think that they, they both are and they aren't. I'd be, I'm comfortable saying that gender and sex are, are two different constructs, but they're deeply intertwined with each other. We're talking about gender and, and sex, and there's a lot of controversies there. If we're talking about a trans woman has all of the male physical characteristics, so would that not be a male then? Couldn't, couldn't we plainly say, this person is a male. Well, wh well I guess it's, it's like, wh why are you asking the question? I think I, I, wa I want to understand sort of why that's so important. So if someone tells Just you... Just to, uh, to sort of understand reality, you know? Well, I mean, I think when someone tells you who they are, you should believe them. So if a person says that they're a woman or they're a man, then that's them telling you their gender is. I'm, I'm not so sure why, what social... Um, in interactions would have to do with with maleness or femaleness that would well, be I'm not even talking about social context I'm just I'm just trying to start by getting to the truth you know yeah I mean I'm really uncomfortable with that language of like g getting to the truth again in social why, why life is that, why is that uncomfortable because that it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me um, and the if truth? you and, and if you keep probing we're gonna stop the interview I if I probe about what the truth is you keep invoking the word truth which is condescending and rude. I'm saying is, to you... How is the word truth condescending and rude? Why don't you tell me what your truth is and you're walking on 30 seconds more of the nights before I get up. What my truth is? Well, I don't think I really have a truth. I think that there's just the truth, like the reality. And so we should begin by trying to figure out what the reality is. Uh-huh. And why are you concerned with when someone else tells you that they're a man, or even if they use the word male, why are you concerned with not believing them? Well, you keep bringing it back to, you know, how do you respond in a social situation? But, That's what I do, I'm a social scientist. Well, right, but we're in a university, this is a place of understanding truth, isn't it? Or Absolutely, we, are, we pursue the truth, truth, and so I'm a social scientist, and that's what I but do. But you just said the truth is transphobic. Th that you would say, that you're, if you're saying the truth is that I get to say, you're not a man, show me your genitalia, that's transphobic. No, no, yes. I don't want to see anybody's genitalia. I, I, I just mean, someone can make a statement about themselves that could be untrue. Like, for example, if I, if I were to say that I'm a black man, could you, would you accept that, or would you s be skeptical? Are you black? Are you African American? Are you biracial? I don't think so. Yeah, well, you don't look that, and I don't think that's a. It doesn't sound like that's a genuine statement of who you are. Okay, so that's my point. I, I could make a statement about who I am that's incorrect. Of course, I think it's well established that human beings can lie. Yes. Or not even lie. I mean, I could just be mistaken. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not sure where you're going. I guess this all comes back, just, this all comes down to really one question. Um, especially women, gender and sexuality studies. So, so what, what is a woman? Why do you ask that question? I just really like to know. What do you think the answer to that question is? 
Well, I'm, I'm asking. That's why I came to a college professor who, who's, this is your, this is what you do. What other kinds of answers have you gotten? A lot of like this, where you're, where you're not answering, and I've gotten a lot of that, so. I think it's interesting that you, that you say that some of the people you've, you've um, interviewed have been um, reluctant to answer it, and I think that has a lot to do with the way, the questions that preceded it, and the, the way that you've conducted yourself in the interview. How have I conducted myself? How do you think you've conducted yourself? You, you, <laughs> you just really don't want to answer the questions, do you? I, I came today very willing and, and enthusiastic about answering questions about women's and gender sexuality studies, which is so the you work wanted that to, I do. You wanted to answer questions about women's studies, and so shouldn't the, the first answer you should be able to provide is what exactly is a woman? Well, it's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. But, but what thinking. is that? As a woman. Do you know what a circular definition is? I do. It's sort of like what you're doing right now, where a woman is, is a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, because you're seeking what we would call in my field of work an essentialist definition of gender. I think it sounds like you would like me to give you a set of biological or cultural characteristics that are associated with one gender or the other. I'm not seeking any type of definition. I'm just seeking a definition. Yeah, and I gave you one. Well, now I can say I've been to college. I'm glad I didn't pay for it.